Now, the process is just that we approach the spiritual master to get knowledge. So there was no visible living creature before Brahma. So how he got knowledge? The answer is, Tene Brahma Rida Adhikavai Adhikavai, the first created living being, Brahma, was educated from within the heart. That means Krishna, Vasudev, or the Supreme Lord, is situated in everyone's heart. He is situated in Brahma's heart also. He is situated in your heart, my heart. And Rida, this very word is used. Rida means heart. So he can educate anyone within the heart. Uh, but why we are not uh, aware of him? Theoretically we know, but practically in our conditioned state we cannot understand how he is directing us. But he is directing. That's a fact. Brahma is not ordinary living being. Therefore he could take direction from the Supreme Lord within the heart. We can also take when we are qualified exactly like Brahma. Brahma appeared to serve the Lord, to fulfill the desire of the Lord. Just like we engage one carpenter, and I ask him to make a cabinet for me. I give him the ingredients, tools, or wages, and he creates a cabinet. Similarly, God created the ingredients and the manufacturer also, and Brahma created this universe. But he is not the original creator. The original creator is Krishna. As such, the original proprietor is also Krishna, because he has created the ingredients. Actually, when we work in practical field, uh, the ingredients we cannot create. Uh, the, we suppose we construct a very high skyscraper building, but the ingredients, namely the earth, stone, wood, iron, which are the ingredients of the house, that we cannot create. That is created by God. We simply transform. We take earth, dirt from the earth, and mix it with water. The water is created by God. The earth is created by God. Then we mix it and make a lump like brick and put it in the fire. The fire is also created by God. In this way, if we study scrutinizingly the ingredients and the materials which we are handling, they are not our creation. They are creation of God. We simply handle them. And because we handle them, it does not become our property. This is sense. 
Suppose I am worker, I am handling some other things, materials, and preparing something. Now that does not mean when the thing is manufactured, complete, it becomes my property. No. How it can be? Therefore the philosophy is that everything belongs to Krishna, God. I also belong to Him. And whatever I do, manufacture, that also belongs to Him. This sense to understand that everything belongs to God, I also belong to God. My intelligence also belongs to God. The ingredients or physical elements with which I work, that also belongs to God. Then where is the scope for my claiming that I am provided? This is called illusion. So this Krishna consciousness movement is uh, meant for reviving the original consciousness of the human society because uh, in the cats and dogs or animals such consciousness cannot be uh, invoked. They are so dull and in the lowest stage of consciousness it is not possible for them to understand Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.